Well, Meridian Energy is a retailer, New Zealand's largest energy producer, and we produce 100% renewable energy from wind and water, um, and right from mums and dads' homes to small businesses, right up to large industrial customers right across New Zealand. Yeah, so reducing power costs, obviously um, from a mum and dad home right up into a commercial industrial solution will be completely different. Um, and if we're talking, we're drilling down into the SME market, the small medium business market, um, there's a few things that you could think about doing. And we could start at the top, which would be capital intensive in terms of it might cost you a little bit of money to put in to get out, but you could look at things such as commercial solar, uh, you could look at your um, pumps and motors in your business if you're operating compressors and so forth. You could be looking at engaging with um, your electrician to talk about uh, variable speed drives on equipment. And if you're a smaller business that doesn't have those things, it really comes down to the energy efficiency of your appliances that you're using, because ultimately those appliances are what are drawing power. So uh, whether that's, that's LED light bulbs, whether that's ensuring that your staff understand that the heat pump sitting on 30 degrees over the weekend is actually probably not the thing to do. Um, it's also understanding that, you know, you don't want to leave um, compressors and things open. I, I tell a lot of hospitality clients all the time that if you leave the bar fridge open, even during service, every hour that that bar fridge is slightly ajar, uh, it's around $60 that's costing the business. So that's a significant amount of money. Uh, for a hospitality outlet and you could imagine there's a lot of bar fridges uh, across the country so little things like that can go a long way including just switching off your screens um, and just ensuring you know we're talking about a dollar a day uh, just switching off your screen so it really is important and i think what is important as well is that once you've had the education you can actually implement that in your business and you can tell your staff and they can buy into it as well there's no point in management understanding the costs and everything that's going on in the business and it doesn't get down to the staff. So really um, understanding it and then implementing it and really selling it in and building that culture around it. What you should be looking for in a power company really is um, a partner, first and foremost, someone that's actually going to come in and sit down with you face to face, someone that's going to take the time to understand your business and really what you're trying to achieve and your objectives. Uh, you really should be looking for someone that offers innovative solutions um, and can talk to you about uh, effectiveness or efficiencies in your business and how you can ultimately save money. You should be looking for a retailer that's really interested in, in the long-term goals of your business and can help you from the beginning, whether that be a, a seamless connection process uh, or right through to implementing those uh, energy solutions or and or products. There's something that you could think about in terms of reducing your carbon footprint and actually you know saving the planet effectively by one step at a time by um, changing cars to electric. Now people will say it's really expensive I can't afford a new electric vehicle. We actually help customers understand what costs would be involved. There is some really cool things that you can do around not only reducing your carbon footprint, but also saving um, costs in terms of your fuel costs and also saving the environment at the same time. You want to engage early. So if you're in the, um, if it's pre-build, then you really do need to engage with your electrician early. And you also want that electrician to know who your preferred supplier is. So it's really handy when you have your electrician and your retailer um, talking together. They will both make that process a lot smoother uh, with the network company. So there's actually a long-winded process to go through to get a new connection and it changes hands around nine times. So during that process, if you've got your network company, your lightning agent, your electrician, your metering people, your retailer, if you've got everyone there lined up early, um, it will make that process nice and simple. And then your retailer can 
uh, assist and making sure that you have some transparency over it. It doesn't just go into a big black hole. And that's really the level of service that you should be looking for. Yeah, so if you're moving into a lease situation and you've got an existing building, you are unfortunately going to inherit the last, um, the last tenant's setup. Now your business could be completely different from that uh, previous setup. So what you should do and what I would recommend is actually get in touch with your retailer, talk to us around what, what it is that you're doing and again, you really do need to have someone sit down with you, um, go through it face to face, understand your business, understand your hours of operation and your objectives. Uh, so then you know, we're best placed to understand you know, what is going to be the right setup for your business. Uh, it could be that you own your building, it's facing the right way, it has the structural um, benefits that it needs to have to hold commercial solar, and you are looking for a long-term solution. So commercial solar would be something that you would look at. Uh, if you were a tenant in the building and you didn't own that building, then you could still talk to the end, but you knew you were going to be there long-term then you could actually talk to your landlord and then you'd use a company that would actually help you scope out is commercial solar right for you? What does the return on investment look like? How much would we need to put in? What sort of payback period are we looking at? So there's a couple of things around commercial solar. So certified renewable energy is a brand new, hot off the press, a pretty exciting product actually. This actually allows businesses to report uh, a zero scope to emissions um, at, for the end of the financial year. And, um, we know businesses are going through um, some significant, uh, well, whether it's from a board level or whether it's from their customers, driving them to be more sustainable and looking at their carbon footprint. But the other um, benefit for businesses is that it's that marketing side. It's actually showing um, whether that's on a product, or whether that's on your website, whether it's in your window, whether it's on the back of your bumper sticker on your car, you can actually show that you are supporting um, sustainability, you're supporting renewable energy uh, by having this product. And that is a real game changer, and we are seeing some significant uh, queries coming in about it because you know, we can see that businesses are they're screaming out for this, and also consumers um, are putting pressure on businesses to know, really show um, what they are doing in this space.